the lighter side is a very, very good comedian. I worked with her several times throughout my career, and every time that I work with her, I enjoy myself. So I want y'all to give it up for the one and only Miss Sandy Bernstein. Yeah! Hey, how you guys doing? All right, all right. So, I know what some of you might be thinking, okay? Ellen DeGeneres called. She wants her hair and wardrobe back. Yeah, because I look a little butch the way I dress in my hair, but I'm married, right? As a matter of fact, my husband would like me to grow my hair out. The other day, he's hitting it from behind. Not my favorite position, right? And he says to me, he goes, oh, you looks like you got your hair cut awfully short this time. And I'm like, yeah. Looks like you're fucking a dude. <laughs> oh, so anyway, um, <laughs> um my, my husband thinks that I should get my DNA tested. Yeah, he, he said, oh, you never know, you might have a little African in you. And I was like, shit, that was last week. <laughs> and he wasn't so little. <laughs> oh, man, so, um, do you guys have Trader Joe's out here? Does anybody go to Trader Joe's? They, okay, well, yeah, they, they got them around my way, and, uh, you know, it's always crowded there, and the parking lots are a nightmare, but I really like their, their roasted almonds. I usually go in there every couple weeks, I get a bag of the dry roasted almonds, right? So I like to have a little bit of fun when I go in there, you know? So I'll flag down one of the dudes in the uh, Hawaiian shirts, one of the crew members, and I'll be, uh, excuse me, sir, um, could you tell me where I might find your nuts? And, yeah, they're good sports. They usually chuckle at that, right? You know, but I, I'm telling you, I think they're on to me. Because the last time I was in there, I was like, oh, excuse me, sir, could you tell me where your nuts are at? And the guy just kind of smiled at me, and he led me down to the end of aisle three, and he picks up a bag and starts shaking him in my face. And he said, oh, did you mean these nuts? <laughs> so we're fucking now. <laughs> Um, so anyway, this is my second marriage. Uh, is anybody else here divorced? Okay. Any, anybody here wishes they were divorced? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, when my ex-husband Tom went through his midlife crisis, he just got angry all the time, and he, he became real critical of me. You know, he used to accuse me of being uh, selfish and narcissistic, and one day he turns to me and he says, I think marriage ought to be a renewal contract. And I'm like, really? Hey, does that mean I have the option to outsource? No, it's more like the NFL, and I'm not satisfied with your performance, and I'm thinking of court and free agents. I'm like, well, you go right ahead and do that, hon, and I'll do the same. Well, guess what, folks? I did not renew that contract. I got me a quarterback fresh out of college. Yay! Yum, yum. He had a strong arm, lots of stamina, and he knew how to go deep. Yeah, I was sick of assigning him to a long-term contract. Oh, but rest assured now I'm married to an age-appropriate man. And you know something, I'm glad to be married. I don't want to be out on the dating scene. I hear some of these young people talk about Tinder and, uh, and uh, hooking up and eating booty. Smashing? Choking? I don't know, maybe I'm just old, but I'm like, first of all, eating booty, okay. Now listen, I'm gonna I'm keep it real here. Like, I got a certain amount of mileage on my body, so I got hemorrhoids, okay? I mean, let me put it this way, okay? My butthole has more nooks and crannies in it than a Thomas's English muffin. I mean, how are you going to get that shit clean? <laughs> and besides, more importantly, okay, last time I checked, my clitoris was not hiding out my anus, okay? So, like, if you ask me, eating booty is a big waste of valuable tongue time. I'm just saying. 
Okay, and smashing. That's supposed to be a turn on, smashing. Look, okay, look, I'm at an age, I gotta start worrying about osteoporosis. Okay, do I look like I want a shattered pelvis? Hell no, and I'm too young to fracture my hip. So fuck smashing, forget about smashing. And choking? The minute some motherfucker puts his hands around my neck and starts choking me, he's getting kicked in the nuts. End of story. Now, I don't want any part of that. Uh, so anyhow, guys, like um, uh, we have a Christmas party at work, but I work for the state of Maryland, so we couldn't call it a holiday party. It was like their staff service and achievement awards, right? So after the luncheon, they gave us these like little staff gifts, you know? So I picked this up, I took one look at it, and I was like, huh, I wonder what size batteries this takes. Well, I said it a little too loudly. Guys, when I go back to work on January 2nd, I got a 9 a.m. appointment at Human Resources. Yeah, man, pray for me. So do we have any, any Dave Chappelle fans in here? Y'all like Dave Chappelle? Oh uh, yeah, I love Dave Chappelle. Well, you know what? I, I saw that bit that he did about um, being self-conscious about eating chicken in front of his white friend, and like, I didn't know that was a thing, you know? And now I feel terrible, because I have this habit of staring at people's food. So I don't want people thinking that I'm stereotyping people looking at them eating chicken, you know? So I just want to say that if I'm staring at the chicken, it's not because I'm being racist and stereotyping, it's because it looks delicious. And I wish I'd ordered that shit instead of the salad. So anyhow, um, when I was talking about my ex-husband, did I mention that his name was Tom? I did, right? Right? Okay. Anybody want to guess my current husband's name? That is correct also, Tom. And you know what? That's really convenient for me because I don't have to worry about yelling out the wrong name during sex. But I'll tell you what, it has confused the hell out of my friends. Now, they're all big fans of the Terminator movies, you know, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. So get this. They started calling my ex-husband T1 and my current husband T2. And one of them says to me, Oh, Cindy, if this doesn't work out with T2, is there going to be a T3? And I'm like, hell no, there's not going to be a T3. If there's a T3, it'll be T3 Rise of the Machines. Well, on that note... Guys, you have been awesome. Thank you so much. I'm Sandy Bernstein. Good night. Hey, Sandy. <laughs> yeah. Motherfuckers eating ass, that's nasty. I agree. That's nasty. <laughs> Anal sex is nasty to I me. Because I'm like this. How many times you and a lady have a conversation and y'all flirting and the fact that she got diarrhea come up? <laughs> <laughs> Never, right? <laughs> So you wanna be nasty this night, like girl, let me go in there and then you like this and never mind, that shit just nasty.